If you're from Oregon, you're either a duck or a beaver. Well, you can hear the noise, and they know. They had so many different options that they could have gone to, so we were really guessing. I mean, Jordan and I would look at John and go, where are we going here? What are they going to do? On the snap, pressure comes. They were a very good defense, but I, I just knew there were so many options on that play for Oregon's uh, offense. He's going to try to get it, and he will get it first down Oregon. He was just a bowling ball. He was so solid, and he was so strong and powerful. And when he hit that kid, <sighs> for the first time ever, for the nation, the nation was looking into the state of Oregon at both teams that were really good in a championship game. The sense of anticipation for that, knowing what was on the line, a civil war for the Roses, and it's never happened quite like that. It's here right now. We have to win the Civil War. We have to beat Oregon. It's really not like any other game. This really uh, has a lot on the line. You couldn't really ask for more of a, you know, a setting for, for a game like this. Fourth and goal turn. Give to Quiz running to the right. And Jack Quiz is in. Touchdown, Beavers. Can he get it? He does. Nail. Foot race to the end zone. 20 to the 10. It will be. It is a touchdown, Oregon. Throws down the middle. Caught by James Rogers. Touchdown, Beavers! The Beavers have the lead back in the Civil War for the Roses. 22-21, 14 seconds remaining in the half. Emotions and you know, everything is high. You just want to keep going. The way the season started, the Garrett month and the punch, he stayed so that he could help in some way, and his way to help was to get playing that game. Gonna give it a blunt, gonna go outside, try to get the corner, he's got it. He's at the 10-5, look out, boom, into the end zone! LeGarrette Blunt, boom, over the top of the Beavers. Here he goes, trip a little bit, 40, foot race, 30, he may, he will, the 10-5, it's a touchdown! When he scored that touchdown, it just erupted. It, it was crazy. There are moments at Otson Stadium, and I'm sure every stadium, when people will say, it's the loudest it's ever been. This moment, this game, that time. And at that point in this in the season in my career here, I'm sure we said that's the loudest Odson Stadium has ever been. When you think back to that game, what play stands out the most? I just remember uh, Masoli running over the safety to get the first down. To throw, pressure comes, Masoli rolls right. He's gonna try to get it, and he will get it first down Oregon! He's always escaping, you know, he's a magician. And knowing Masoli's personality, I knew he was going to do it. This is Jeremiah Masoli. He's not putting this on anybody else. He's going to take it. He's going to he's going to make it happen. He's going to win this game. Well, I sigh now, and I sighed then, and I I think we just there was a sense of resignation that what a game, what a great run, what a spectacle it's been to be part of it. But knowing that a Rose Bowl berth was that close for the first time since 1964 and for it not to happen. It hurt 10 years ago, it still hurts. The sea of yellow and green on the field at Autzen Stadium persisted long after the clock went to zero. For Beaver fans, a great effort and a shame that one team had to lose. It gave Oregon that opportunity to continue the climb they had started with Bill Musgrave in 87 and, and get to the Rose Bowl in 95. So, that was, that was a huge moment, but this one was more special because, and, and I had to say it like this, because you didn't just win your chance to go to the Rose Bowl, you denied your in-state rival the opportunity to go, so it made it more special.